I heard that you said that you would not buy a League of Legends team last no. year because of player overload. Yeah. Do you still think that? Yeah, absolutely. I yeah, think it's done. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know what the meta is, right? And so they change everything all the time, whether it's um, Overwatch, whether it's League of Legends, um, Fortnite, for that matter. It's not really an esport, but still, you know, when when it's a five-person um, team, and the meta changes every 90, 120 days, it's like a whole new game, and so you have to, you know, it's so competitive and it's so um, mentally and physically straining that it's brutal. That, so that's part one. Part two is the economics. I, I think a lot of people who bought into teams, not the esports themselves, yeah. had no idea how bad a business it was. No idea. Sure. In aggregate, it's a good business. Is it growing? Yes. But domestically here in the United States, it's an awful business. And owning a team. Owning a team is an awful business. And so um, I think you're seeing a lot of consolidation yeah. as people get out and try to sell. You see a lot of people trying to raise more money. You see the valuations coming down. You know, And I think a lot of people who bought in didn't recognize the difference between a stream and viewer in Europe, in Asia, versus a stream and a viewer here. I mean, I, you read Esports Observer and you see all the Twitch numbers and everything, and you see the aggregate hours. And what was it, even with Overwatch League, 300 some thousand maximum global viewers, I, I forget the exact number, mm -hmm. you know, that's not a huge number. So where's the money at? You're an expert in this. Um, there's not, I mean, being in Asia, there's money, mm -hmm. right? If you're in Korea, there's tons of money there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's real. Um, if you're in China, there's money there. Here, not so much. Mm -hmm. Not so much. I mean, look at, look at what the streamers go through. I mean, Ninja kills it, right? Yeah, they but make he, a lot of money. Yeah, he makes a ton of money, but he went to Mixer because to make that money, you got to stream 10 hours a day and not have a life. You know, sure. if, if you look at the aggregate hours, again, on the, you know, I, I read Esports Observer all the time. Um, the number of hours that, that somebody has to stream and average, you know, 18,000 concurrent viewers, just, you know, they make good money, but it's brutal, brutal. And then the minute they fall off, boom. You spend a lot of time reading though and, and being <laughs> yeah, dedicated yeah. to your craft and it, it equals a lot of money for you too. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think anyone who makes a lot of money, they're usually working really hard. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean... Like I said, I'm competitive. Did you know that we are, we're a GIF when you search mic drop? Yes. Did, you didn't know that? Yeah. I, I, I get and sent it all the time. Got, yeah. Huge. That was what, one of my first esports events. I think you were my kind of right, time, yeah, right in the beginning. Of Legends, yeah. And you swore for me so that you could give another $10,000 yeah, to said, charity. Yeah, so, you know. And you grabbed, yeah, my mic and threw it to the ground. I'm sorry. Was, no, I, I loved I, Everyone was like, oh, that was so mean. I'm like, no, 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 it was funny. Yeah, it we're was dying laughing. Yeah, thing. we're dying laughing. I, I loved it. <laughs>